for my E36 swap, which I'm very excited about and I hope some of you guys are too. Another very exciting thing is that NordVPN is sponsoring this video, so thank you to them.
this point, I have all the accessories off the engine and I'm about ready to start stuffing different holes with some cloth, go in with the wire wheel and remove any of the old rust and nasty old paint, and then I'm going to degrease it and try and clean it as best I can to prep it for paint. But before I do any of that, I'm going to take one minute of your guys' time and talk to you about today's sponsor, NordVPN. The first question that always comes up is, what is a VPN? So VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and it's basically gonna be a service that protects your identity online, so you can cruise around doing whatever you wanna do on the internet in a safe and secure way. My personal favorite use for NordVPN is the ability to change where my IP address is coming from when I'm using streaming platforms like Netflix. So I'm located in Canada, and I only have the content that is available to me in Canada on Netflix, but what NordVPN allows me to do is change where my IP address is coming from, so I can change it to the States, countries in Europe, almost everywhere in the world. So within a few clicks, I instantly have access to the content that's available to them while I'm at home in Canada, which is really, really cool. More importantly than that, NordVPN really does protect you online. They allow you to hide your IP address so you can safely use public Wi-Fi hotspots. If you guys wanna try it out for yourself, there's a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee at www.nordvpn.com forward slash chromatic garage. I'll also have it linked in the description as well as the comments if you guys wanna check it out. And thank you again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Sponsorships really help out the channel, allow us to do fun stuff like this, hopefully put cool engines and cool cars and continue growing. So thank you to them and let's get back into stripping this engine.
I made a mess. A big one, and it really doesn't help that it's on a white floor, but that's okay. It doesn't matter because the engine is looking a lot better, and I think it's ready for paint now. All the rust is gone. All the old flaking paint is gone. Oxidization, stuck on grease and grime. It's near perfect now for proper paint adhesion. Now, not everything went great. Of course, we had to take at least one L, and that was in the form of two exhaust header studs snapping, and I'm honestly not even going to worry about it. That area gets left machined, so it's not going to affect the paint if I go get it fixed later, which I'm going to do. I'm going to have a machining friend pull them out professionally just because I really don't want to mess with it. So what's up next for me? Clean this up, and then get the engine on a hoist because when it's on the stand here, I can't access this back section. So I'm going to throw it on the hoist, remove that rust back there, tape off the block, and then throw down some satin black paint. At that point, I'll probably wait 36, maybe 48 hours reverse the tape and then get everything else silver and then we should be good.
Mm-hmm.